I'm Eric Porter, and this is my son Milo, and today we're testing out something straight out of a science fiction movie. This is supposed to be the world's best outdoor exoskeleton to date. So we don't normally do test or review type videos on this channel, but when Hypershell reached out with the exoskeleton, we had to give this one a shot. I'm gonna put it on. Milo and I are gonna head up to ride our favorite downhill trail. We're gonna race on the way up with a couple uh, challenges, then we're gonna race on the way back down too. And Milo's gotten really strong. He's 16 years old now, and he's been racing cross country with his Nike team, been training a ton, and this is the first year he's actually pedaled away from me. Maybe this will give me a little bit of an advantage to uh, hang with him a bit longer. All right, well, he's fast on the bike, not fast with the words. <laughs> so this is the Hypershell X Ultra. This is their newest one. It produces a thousand watts of power, which is nuts. It's got titanium and carbon fiber legs here, and it's pretty wild. <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right, let's go ride. <laughs> So we're riding over to our favorite new downhill trail to test these things on. And the way up is the steepest road climb in Utah. So we're gonna have a hill climb challenge on that. But before that, I wanna set a baseline. So I'm gonna have these turned off. I'm gonna sprint against Milo, see how that goes. And then I'm gonna turn them on and uh, see how it works out with these things in hyper mode. Okay, so we're gonna race from this white pole right here to the next white poles on the side of the road up there. I don't know how far that is, but you know, far enough to sort out a drag race. These babies are turned off right now, um, so I have no additional power. Okay. So this will just be human versus human, young, fast kid that's been training for cross country versus uh, dad. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, he's pulling away. My legs are, that's all I got. Ah. You kind of smoked me. Started out pretty even actually. Then as we kept on going, he just kept on putting on the power where my legs were uh, kind of like, I think we're good. Like I I'm good riding all day long. I love riding for like eight hours, but the younger you are, the more likely you are to be able to just sprint. So now I'm gonna turn these on and now we're gonna go ahead and put it in hyper mode. Let's see what happens now. Turns on with a quick uh, short tap, long tap right there. All right, we are on on eco mode right now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, hold this down for two seconds, turns it to hyper mode, and it's uh, four bars of red. That means uh, that means full power, ready to cook. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Ooh, I can feel it. It's like I'm like a thoroughbred racehorse, just itching to get out of the gate. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Whoa, that's sick. Dude, this is just throwing down power. Yeah, that was rad. That's nice. <laughs> that thing definitely made you way faster. Yeah, it's it's interesting for sure. It feels different than an e-bike. Like an e-bike is kind of continual power at the wheel, whereas this is powering my legs. So it's a regular bike. It feels like a regular bike. I just feel like I have more leg muscle, basically. Kind of cool. Crazy, yeah. So we have a lot of climbing to do to get to the trail we're going to ride. 1,200 feet of vert. 1,500, yeah. So we're already going to be tired by the time we get to this steep climb. And then uh, let's see how much power this is putting down on the really steep part of the climb. So I still got this thing in boost mode. And climbing, I can feel it's just moving my legs up and down for me. So I'm still putting in effort. But uh, Hypershell says it re reduces your effort by up to 39%, which would be in the mode that I'm in right now. I'd say that feels accurate. And it's supposed to reduce your heart rate by up to 42% as well. And I mean, I'm not having a problem talking right now and uh, seems like we're cruising. Yeah, we're going pretty fast. So, pretty sweet. I think if you're banging out laps, this is gonna be, you know, kind of like an e-bike and that it can help you just keep ripping laps um, like you would use an e-bike for, except you don't have to ride an e-bike. My bike is my normal RE Enduro bike. So that's pretty sick. This road is steep every single time. It never gets chill. Yeah. I've been in eco mode the whole time, but uh, now that we're on the steep part, I'm gonna turn it on to boost. Okay. We'll see what happens. All right, hyper mode. Oh, there we go. Oh. Dude, you're it's just cooking. running away from me. You see it moving my legs up and down? Yeah. I That's can see so it on your hips too. It's like, you can kind of shows. That is so cool. Now it kind of feels e-bike-ish, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. Dirt's perfect today. 
It's nice having a little extra boost, honestly. This trail is fun on the e-bikes. Oh, he's grabbing the pass. We're not even to the downhill trail yet. This is just the access trail. See how it works standing up. Bro. There's a bunch of side hits along here and uh, Milo took off right there. I mean, great decision, a lot of fun. But what he did was put his uh, back tire sidewall straight into uh, sharp roots that aren't going anywhere. And uh, this one. Look at that. what do you think, boys? You think we can plug this? <laughs> you think we can plug it? <laughs> These sidewalls are tough. Um, this is not like a cross country race tire, but I mean, you literally like slapped sideways into Dude, the wall. That's what I always do. The hyper shell is not gonna fix a flat tire as of yet. All right, so we gotta go back to the house. We gotta fix this, uh, throw on a new tire and uh, then come back and finish it. But uh, consider this the intermission. It's intermission, rise and stretch time. Nice climbing, Milo. Thank you. So you know this trail more than I do. You've got a lot more laps on it than me, but there's a bunch of fun lines. Yeah, this would be fun. So you get to the bottom first? Yeah, let's do it. Dang it. Ooh, inside line. Oh. Got him. Back into the corner oh. here. Oh yeah. Where's Milo? Oh, you hit the drop. Just <laughs> to wait for you. Ooh, there's a line. <laughs> he got me. Got him. <laughs> oh, these goalie trails are so fun. So many lines and features and stuff. Oh, let's pass the buck here. Ah! Jumped right over me. <laughs> nice line, Milo. <laughs> I know there's some big berms coming up. But they're so fun to ride, too. Ooh. Nice double. Ooh. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that's where the benefit is. Got a little Eli like action on the legs there. Still holding them off. Oh yeah, here it goes. This one. Ah, I missed that one. So fun. Nice riding, Milo. Oh, my fingers are so cold. Yeah. Now the robo legs are kicking in. And he just drops me on the uphill. That's where it pays off. It's cool. It's not something I had ever thought even, you know, would exist and uh, kind of from the future. So it's cool to try stuff like this out. At the end of the day, if this gets more people outside enjoying nature and uh, doing cool stuff with their family, then I'm all for it. Um, does it work? Yeah, it works. It's, uh, it does exactly what they say it's going to. You know, maybe it can help you go further, do things you couldn't do before. It doesn't replace your effort. It's similar to an e-bike, except it's not just on the bike, so you can use this for hiking or running, or I'm excited to try it for ski touring in the winter. I just want to see what it's like. Thanks to Hypershell for sending this out so we can test it out and have some fun with it. Right, Milo? Yep. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. I just realized Milo hasn't tested this thing out. You want to grab some laps on it? Yes, please. Look at how little of a battery that is. It's crazy how long it lasts, actually, for how small the battery is. Yeah, this thing's light. You just gained 1.3 horsepower, Milo. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how much horsepower I have. What do you think? It's crazy. It's really hard to describe. Is it in cycling mode? Yep. Sick. Now that I've taken it off, I realize how much it was doing. <laughs> you kind of get used to it when it's on there. What the heck? 
it's like an anonymous person is just like pushing on your legs for you and pushing them up and down, but you're still working. <laughs>